everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review The Witch. So The Witch surrounds this family in the 1630s where they're very religious, you know, they believe in God, uh, especially when it comes to the father. And, you know, there's mysterious things happening, and, you know, it could be under the control of the witch you know there's this creepy rabbit there's this creepy goat that goes by black philip their baby disappears so they're just trying to figure out a way to get through this curse i heard a lot of really high buzz about this because this film did play at sundance i heard the director which this is the director's directorial debut his name is robert eagers i hope i pronounced that right he's the one that won i think best director at the Sundance, which congratulations to him. So I've heard a lot of great things about this film, but I still want to go into this film open-minded, but I did get a little bit worried because I was worried this is going to be one of those films I don't like that everyone else likes. But I will say that The Witch was really surprising. It was actually a lot better than I expected because The Witch is such a well-crafted horror film. And what I really loved about this film is just how very atmospheric it was. It had a lot of slow moving shots. It was really building up the tension. And the impressive thing is it just really focuses on this family and this one area in their house and the woods. It's just in this one area where stuff is happening and the film is really effective. Like, it's definitely one of those films you have to really process watching it because of the amount of stuff that happens. And I think the reason this film is so effective, in my opinion, of course, is because the film gives you a really great insight as to what if you were cursed and you had to deal with all of this stuff happening to you. It is more of a psychological horror drama film where you focus around this family. They're trying to figure out how to get out. You know, they are a religious family, but uh, like I said, especially when it comes to the father, he's the one that like absolutely believes in God. And I thought everyone in this film was really great. The father was fantastic. He might even be the standout in this film, in my opinion. You know, not to put down anyone else because everyone's fantastic, but I just do think the father is a standout. But not only is the father great, but I thought the blonde girl was really great. I believe she goes by Anna. I thought she was really great here. This kid, I think the actor's name is Ralph. Uh, he did a really terrific job. Like this is one of the best child performances I've seen in a while. This kid freaking nails it in this movie. I thought the two littler kids, you know, they were creepy. They were very odd. I'll say that they were very odd, but I thought to their credit they were very well done in this film as well. I will say I got a little bit annoyed by them, I will say that, but they were still really great. And the mother, wow, she was great in this film as well. Everyone gives it their all in this film. There's not a single bad performance in my opinion. Everyone was freaking fantastic. From how it's shot with the cinematography, it's very dim, but it is so beautiful to look at. Especially when they go into the woods, those are some very beautiful shots right there. The film is very disturbing. This is definitely a film where it has disturbing moments and it just, <clears throat> man, my spine is just tingling because this film is just very unnerving. This film gets under your skin. And because of what this family had to suffer through this film, the rabbit, holy crap, the rabbit, but man, the goat, Black Philip. Wow, this is a goat I would never want to get near ever. He was just freaking creepy. And then when you get to the last 10 or 15 minutes of this film, Oh man, does shit get real there. That's all I'm going to say. Shit gets real, but it's very disturbing. It's very intense. And I thought how the film did that was honestly really great. And especially when we get to the ending shot, which I know is not going to be an ending for everyone. I can understand why people are not going to be a fan of the ending. But personally, how the film built up to that ending shot, honestly, just absolutely blew me away. It's very well directed by Robert Eagers. He did a tremendous job directing the film. Every framing in this film 
honestly, I think it's perfection. In terms of direction and framing, I do think the film was perfection. It's a very well executed movie. The dialogue for the characters was handled brilliantly. I know some people are going to have a hard time understanding like the English accents that they have, but personally, maybe say for other than like a few moments, I was able to understand what was going on. Oh, and the score for this movie. Talk about a very haunting score. It absolutely fits the tone of the movie, the atmosphere of the movie. It sounds brilliant. It's very eerie. And just like for the movie overall, the score is just, whew, man. Like, I just need to breathe just listening to the score alone. The only problems I did have with The Witch is that it does get boring in a couple of moments. There are a couple of moments where I did feel like the film was dragging. There are a few moments where the execution in this film did feel out of place and I thought they could have handled it better. But I will say the big, big problem I actually did have with The Witch, and they do it quite often, and every time they did it, I said, can you please stop doing that? They have creepy music playing, and then they're building up something creepy, or they're showing something strange. And you know, it's like the camera is slowly moving, the music is rising, going, oh, and then it cuts to black. Every time it does that, I said, please stop doing that. There's no point for you to build up to something and then cut to black, because it just makes it feel pointless. Overall, guys, The Witch was a freaking great horror film. Like, this was so so good. I can see why it has that high buzz at Sundance because this is a really effective horror film. However, this film is not going to be for everyone. So I can see why people would say they don't like The Witch or they hate The Witch or they think The Witch is extremely overhyped. Trust me, I understand completely why someone would say that about this movie. It really is not for everyone, but personally for me, this movie really affected me, and I'm going to give The Witch three and a half out of four stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about The Witch. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!